Hi guys, this is Aang from Amazing Websites and welcome to this tutorial on how to use FileZilla to upload your Joomla 3 files. When you download a Joomla file, you need an FTP program like FileZilla in order to transfer your files to your web server. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and it's a way that uh, we transfer files from our desktop to our web server. You can download FileZilla for free at uh, www.filezilla.org. That will take you to this uh, home page where you can download a version of FileZilla for your, uh, for your computer. So let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is to open up FileZilla. I have it uh, already open on my desktop and this is what uh, FileZilla looks like. Before you're able to upload any files to your web server, you need to make sure that you configure FileZilla so that it connects with the web server. To do this, you need to make sure that you get the FTP details from your web host. This is usually given when you open an account with your web hosting company. So let's go ahead and enter our FTP details and store it in the Site Manager. So we do that by going to File, Site Manager, now you will need to create a new site in FileZilla, so we'll do that now. Click on New Site, and I enter the name for the new site. Let's say example site.com. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter the details for our website. Under Host, enter the FTP details plus your domain, so FTP um, example com. Yours, of course, will be different to mine. Leave everything as it is. In log on type, select normal. Enter your username and the password that your host gave you and click on connect. Of course, when I click on connect, nothing's going to happen. But if you do click on connect and you do have a valid account, your details will be displayed here. This is an example of a host that I just connected to. As you can see, this is where the files on the server live, and these are the folders on my computer. So the idea is, if I have something stored on Google Drive or whatever, I just drag those Joomla files up to here, and uh, from there, FileZilla will upload all the files to my web server. Once FileZilla finishes moving my files, it should move from queued files over to successful transfers. One other important thing that I forgot to mention is that when you connect to your uh, web host server, make sure that you put all your files into the public HTML folder. This is what it looks like, and basically you drag and drop all your files into this folder, and this is how you access uh, your files. I hope that you've learned something today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.